What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some Ruthless Aggression Superstars from the early 2000s that I would love to see Mattel make in elite figure form, not basics. Two of these guys I know we've gotten basics of in the past and they're absolutely amazing figures actually. Um, that I've actually owned in my collection before. I need to track them down again. But um, today we're going to be specifically talking about figures that I would like to see in elite form. I'm not going to go through every single Ruthless Aggression Superstar that I would like to see. Just because um, I'd like to make this like a two-part video or three-part video. Going into depth, you know, into more superstars that I would like to see in the future. But we're going to start off with the ones that I would like to see the most. And I would be interested to see which guys you would also like to see in the future. So let me know down in the comment section below what Ruthless Aggression Superstars you would like to see see but let's go ahead and get started with my list so the first superstar that we have guys is chris masters the masterpiece again we have gotten basics of this guy before as you can see on the left and right we have the blue attire and then we have the red and black attire and then in the middle we have a jacks figure um, from deluxe aggression and all three of these figures are so great i think that uh, you know he was such a freaking massive man and um, he had a really cool submission move, the Master Lock. I thought that was awesome. You know, growing up as a kid, he was very green in the ring. You know, he wasn't the greatest. But I really liked his character work. I thought he was a great heel. He was really good at being arrogant. And um, it was so crazy how young he was and how great he was um, for how old he was. And I think that if, you know, he could have stayed on the right path and not had his problems, I think that he could have easily still been in WWE today as possibly a top guy um, because he would have progressed so much. However, um, Chris Masters is a guy I would like to see in elite figure form. Obviously, I would like to see, you know, either a debut figure or maybe um, mid-2000s, maybe 2005, or maybe uh, New Year's Revolution Chris Masters would be really cool. But Chris Masters is definitely a guy I would like to see in elite form. Not a hard custom to make at all. I could actually do this right now if I wanted to, and I probably will in the next few days. However, um, I think that it would be cool to see a actual elite made by Mattel of Chris Masters. Next up, guys, we have Mr. Cool himself, Carlito. And on the right, you guys can see the basic that we actually got of this guy from Mattel. And that was a battle pack that I think came with Carlito and Primo or Epico. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was one of his brothers. I can't remember. But in the middle, you have a custom elite made by a guy who only sells customs on eBay. You can see he used the Mattel head scan, but he repainted the skin tone and then gave him the Sin Cara torso, which isn't a bad formula. I like the way it looks. It looks really, really good as a custom. And then on the left, we have his... Uh, Jax figure or one of his Jax figures and I think that Carlito was I think one of the most outstanding uh, Ruthless Aggression era superstars I think that you know he's one that people think of immediately when they think of the Ruthless Aggression era and I think that he would be a really good guy to bring in you know uh, from that era around where Chris Masters was I thought that you know you, you could even include the US title the Intercontinental Championship I think it would be cool to see if Mattel could ever do this I don't know if they can I don't know if he's still under deal I doubt he is but um, I've actually heard many rumors about him returning. So if he ever returns here in the next few years, I think that it's easily seen that we could get an elite Carlito. So that's somebody that I would love to see Mattel make. Um, Carlito, again, you could give him the U.S. title, the Intercontinental title. Maybe even a bitten apple would be really cool. Maybe even give him an interchangeable head scan with a chewing or a spitting face. I think that'd be sick AF. But um, Carlito is definitely on my ruthless aggression list. Next up, guys, we have two more superstars, and they are a tag team. We have the Hooligans. We have Paul London, one of my favorites from that era of all time. And then we have Brian Kendrick. And these guys were incredible as a tag team. They ran around with the long shorts and baggy and stuff. They were the best cruiserweights, man. They were flying around. They, if you guys don't know who these guys are, definitely look up their matches. Very underrated tag team. They were SmackDown tag team champions for a little bit. I even think they won the Raw tag titles maybe once. But um, these guys were incredible to watch in the ring. These ones in the middle are customs that G Natty's customizer made, and they are absolutely amazing. They used the head scans off of both of these Jax figures, and um, I think they did a wonderful job on them. That's what they would look like from Mattel, and I think they are absolutely perfect. The sickest face, some of the sickest figures I've ever freaking seen, I promise. Um, I would love to see these, um, no no doubt from Mattel. I, ever since I saw these from G Natty, I was like, oh my god. Like When you don't think about it, like they kind of go under the radar. You kind of forget about it, but um, they, these are beautiful, and I would love to see the hooligans. We've seen Brian Kendrick made, so I mean, I know it was a current day Brian Kendrick, but I think that, you know, if we could get Paul London in here, get a little Legends deal, or not Legends deal, but you guys know what I'm talking about. We could get him on contract and uh, pump these boys out. 
The next superstar that I have on my list, guys, is the one half of the world's greatest tag team. On the other half of Shelton Benjamin, we have Charlie Haas. You can see here we have two different sets of Jax figures, and I really don't care which attire they give me. I would obviously prefer, you know, the Team Angle attire with uh, Shelton Benjamin. We could pair it with our Elite 59 Kurt Angle, maybe even put Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas in the same Elite set in their world's greatest tag team, you know, Team Angle attires. And then um, posing them next to our Elite 59 Kurt Angle would be absolutely amazing. I think I'd mark out very, very hard. You can give them the SmackDown tag titles and we can just call it a day. But we also have their other, you know, attires on the right-hand side, which I guess I would take, but I would much rather see the Team Angle version. Um, I, the red version isn't too bad. However, again, like I said, these guys broke up multiple times. They got back together and broke up on multiple occasions. I think it was three or four total times these guys reformed as a tag team on WWE television. But Charlie Haas is a guy that I would love to see. Very underrated wrestler. You know, him and Shelton Benjamin were amazing together. I thought they had great chemistry and everything. So, um, I th again, I would love to see the Team Angle attire. Maybe put them in the same elite set. But, um, I, again, I would just love to see a Charlie Haas in general. Next up, guys, we have a bit of a laugher right here. The next superstar I want to talk about is Gene Snitsky. I would love to see a Gene Snitsky figure made from Mattel. I think that that would be absolutely hilarious. I think this is the look I would like to see, the plain black trunks with the head scan. I think this Jax figure is absolutely perfect. Obviously, Jack's articulation was crappy. But that head scan for Gene Snitsky is absolutely on the money, and I think that it would be very easy to do. I mean, Mattel has all the parts, man. They just have to get a new head scan, but um, Mattel has done it in the past. They have, you know, sculpted new sculpts. They have gotten head scans and stuff like that. Obviously, Gene Snitsky is probably not under contract, but um, I think they own the rights to the name and the character, so I don't know why they couldn't just pump it out. I actually was a fan of this guy's heel work back in the day. I know that, you know, I was younger However, I was a fan of, you know, him being a, a, a heel villain, and um, I know they, they booked him pretty stupid, like he was involved in some wacky and crazy storylines, but Gene Snitsky, I wouldn't mind putting in my Mattel figure collection, especially if they pumped out an elite of this guy, and if they did, um, if they don't, I'll probably end up making him myself, just because I, I would like to have him in my collection, maybe give Invade Vindication, and just blame everybody for his problems, and tell everybody it wasn't his fault, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens, but Gene Snitsky is definitely a guy I would like to see from Mattel. Next up, guys, we have another tag team in the books, and that is Super Crazy and Psychosis, the Mexicools. I highly, highly, highly doubt that they would give us this from Mattel. I doubt Mattel would ever give us the Mexicools in elite figure form, just because I think that back in the day you could get away with stuff like this, but now I think that, you know, with the political correctness and everything, I just don't see them pumping this out. Even though they were very entertaining, you know, they came out on the lawnmowers. Um, the they were super over. The crowd loved them to death. I loved them. They were very awesome to watch. Very fun to see in the ring. They were they had a great luchador style in the ring. Um, they were a bit of a mix of high flyer, luchador, freaking cruiserweight all over the place. And psychosis and super crazy. Even if they didn't give it to us, you know, as the Mexicals and the jumpsuit and you know everything, I would still like to see them by themselves. I would love to see it. So it doesn't matter if I get the Mexicals or their singles looks. I would still would prefer to see these guys. I thought they were great talents, very entertaining guys. And I know we're getting what the epic moments. Uh, was the Matt Hardy, the ultimate deletion, and we, we were supposed to be getting the mower of lawns. You're going to tell me we can't get mixed cools with lower mo uh, lawn mowers, or we could just get the Matt Hardy lawn mower and then get the super cool figures, and then we could uh, put them together. How epic would that be? But that is uh, a tag team I would love to see is the Mexicals. And the last figure that I want from Mattel, guys, from the Ruthless Aggression in this video is Joey Mercury, one half or one third of the tag team Eminem from the Ruthless Aggression era. Obviously, you can see Johnny Nitro or John Morrison on the left here. I would love to see a flashback Joey Mercury. Obviously, we have seen a Battle Pack Basic of Joey Mercury when he was in the J&J &J security with Jamie Noble and, you know, taking care of the Authority and Seth Rollins a couple years back. But um, I would love to see a flashback elite, maybe put them in the same series. Again, like I talked about with the world's greatest tag team, Charlie Haas, Shelton Benjamin. You could do the same thing here, put them in the same set, and you could have Johnny Nitro and Joey Mercury flashbacks. Um, it wouldn't really matter about the attire. I would love to see the white attire. 
um, with the same designs on the pants as you see here. However, I would take any of the attires. I just want to see a Joey and Johnny Nitro and maybe even a Melina. You could even put her in the set. I don't care. But um, I would love to see Joey Mercury. Again, we have seen the figure before, and I, I, think, I don't think he's still under contract. I think he's in the indies now, but I think that it would be really cool to see. Um, Joey Mercury was really cool running around, you know, with Eminem and everything. Or if you didn't want to make, you know, a, uh, a new Johnny Nitro or John Morrison, you could just make the Joey Mercury, and then we could pair it with our John Morrison figures that we already have. And um, that would be fine too. You know, it, it it would save us having to buy an extra John Morrison and switching heads and getting custom figures made. So I would love to see Joey Mercury as my last figure here, guys. But let me know down in the comment section below a uh, character that you would like to see from the Ruthless Aggression era made into Mattel Elite figure form. Um, that was my list for now. I'll probably do another video highlighting some more guys I would like to see because um, I like these fantasy little Mattel elite line ideas. I think it's really cool to you know fantasize about what you would love to see from Mattel. But let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name Toys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.